Identifying vectors learning objectives 3.13 given two vectors. Use the dot product to find how much of one vector lies along the other vector. 3.14 find the cross product of two vectors in magnitude angle and unit vector notation. 3.15 use the right hand rule to find the direction of the vector that results from a cross product. 3.16 in nested products, where one product is buried inside another, follow the normal algebraic procedure by starting with the innermost product and working outward. After reading this module, you should be able to 3.09 multiply vectors by scalars. 3.10 identify that multiplying a vector by a scalar gives a vector, taking the dot or scalar product of two vectors gives a scalar, and taking the cross or vector product gives a new vector that is perpendicular to the original two. 3.11 finds a dot product of two vectors in magnitude angle notation and in unit vector notation. 3.12 find the angle between two vectors by taking their dot product in both magnitude angle notation and unit vector notation. 3 to 3 multiplying vectors if the angle between two vectors is 0 degrees, the component of one vector along the other is maximum, and so also is the dot product of the vectors. If, instead, is 90 degrees, the component of one vector along the other is zero, and so is the dot product. The scalar product the scalar product of the vectors and in 6.318 is written as in defined to the ABCOSF. 3 to 20 be ray the magnitude of, this the magnitude of, and is the angle between and or, more properly, between the directions of n. There are actually two such angles, and 360 degrees. Either can be used in E2.320, because their cosines are the same. Note that there are only scalars on the right side of E2.320, including the value of cos. Thus on the left side represents the scalar quantity, because of the notation, is also known as the dot product and is spoken as, a dot B. The dot product can be regarded as the product of two quantities that face one the magnitude of one of the vectors and two the scalar component of the second vector along the direction of the first vector. For example, in 6.318b, has a scalar component that goes along the direction of. Note that a perpendicular drop from the head of onto determines the component. Similarly, has a scalar component BCOS along the direction of A, B, B, A, 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 A, B, A, B, B, A, 51 figure 3 to 18 A2 vectors and with an angle F between them. B each vector has a component along the direction of the other vector. B, A, 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 B, B, Phi, A, B component of B along direction of A is B plus Phi component of A along direction of B is a plus Phi Phi multiplying these gives the dot product. Or multiplying these gives the dot product. Equation 3 to 20 can be rewritten as follows to emphasize the components. A C O S F B A B C O S F. 3 to 21, the commutative law applies to a scalar product, so we can write. When two vectors are in unit vector notation, we write their dot product as x i as b x by b z, 3 to 22, which we can expand according to the distributive law. 
each vector component of the first vector is to be dotted with each vector component of the second vector. By doing so, we can show that AX, BX, AB, A, Z, B, Z, 3 to 23, B, A, K, J, I, K, J, I, B, A, A, B, B, A, B, A. Chapter 3 Vectors 52 If and are parallel or anti parallel, 0. The magnitude of which can be written as, is maximum when and are perpendicular to each other. B, A, A, B, B, A, B, A, B, A, where if is the smaller of the two angles between them. You must use the B, A, the direction of is perpendicular to the plane that contains them. B, A, Checkpoint 4 vectors and have magnitudes of 3 units and 4 units, respectively. What is the angle between the directions of an if equals A0, B12 units, and C12 units? D, C, B, C, D, C, the vector product, the vector product of an, written, produces a third vector whose magnitude is CABSINF, 3 to 24 C, B, A, B, A, then is 90 degrees. Also, we use the right hand rule to get the direction of his being in the positive direction of his axis thus in the direction of K and J I and smaller of the two angles between the vectors with the sin fan sin 360 degrees F differ in algebraic sign. Because of the notation, is also known as the cross product, and in speech it is, a cross B. B, A, figure 3 to 19A shows how to determine the direction of with what is known as a right hand rule. Place the vectors in tail to tail without altering their orientations, and imagine a line that is perpendicular to their plane where they meet. Pretend to place your right hand around that line in such a way that your fingers would sweep into through the smaller angle between them. Your outstretched thumb points in the direction of. The order of the vector multiplication is important. In Fig.319b, point three nineteen b, we are determining the direction of, so the fingers are placed to sweep into through the smaller angle. The thumb ends up in the opposite direction from previously, and so it must be that, that is. 3 to 25, in other words, the commutative law does not apply to a vector product. In unit vector notation, we write ax i as bx by bz, 3 to 26 which can be expanded according to the distributive law. That is, each component of the first vector is to be crossed with each component of the second vector. The cross products of unit vectors are given in Appendix C, Products of Vectors. For example, in the expansion of EQ.326, we have AX BX AX BX 0, because the two unit vectors and are parallel and thus have a zero cross product. Similarly, we have AX by AX BY AX BY. In the last step we used EQ.324 to evaluate the magnitude of its unity. These vectors in each have a magnitude of unity, and the angle between J I J I K J I J I I I I I I I K J I K J I B A B A A B smiling face C C A B C B A C B A B A, B, A, C. Continuing to expand the Q.326, we can show that. 3, 3, multiple.
multiplying vectors. 53 A B I 8 by is A Z B X B Z A X B Y B X A Y J K 3 to 27. A determinant appendix E for a vector capable calculator can also be used. To check whether any XYZ coordinate system is a right-handed coordinate system, use the right-hand rule for the cost product. I I J K With that system, if your fingers sweep positive direction of X into positive direction of Y, with the outstretched thumb pointing in the positive direction of Z, not the negative direction, then the system is right-handed. J. Checkpoint 5. C. D. Is 8, 0 and D, 12 units. C. Vectors and have magnitudes of 3 units and 4 units. Respectively, what is the angle between the directions of and A, B, B, A, B? If the magnitude of the vector product B, C, A, B, A, C, B, A, B, C, colon, A, B, A, Figure 3 to 19 illustration of the right-hand rule for vector products. A sweep vector into vector with the fingers of your right hand. Your outstretched thumb shows the direction of vector. C. A. B. B. Showing that. B. Colon. A. Is the reverse of. A. B. Dot. Chapter 3 Vectors 54 gives the direction of Thus, as shown in the figure, lies in the xy plane, because its direction is perpendicular to the direction of a cost product always gives a perpendicular vector, it is at an angle of 250 degrees, 90 degrees, 160 degrees, answer, from the positive direction of this axis. A. C. C. Sample problem 3.06 cross product, right hand roll in fig.320, vector lies in the exiplane, has a magnitude of 18 units, and points in a direction 250 degrees from the positive direction of this axis. Also, vector has a magnitude of 12 units and points in the positive direction of this axis. What is the vector product? The idea when we have two vectors in magnitude angle notation, we find the magnitude of their cross product to be 2.324 and the direction of their cross product with the right hand rule is 6.3 minus 19. Calculations. For the magnitude we write CABSINF 18 12 sin 90 degrees 216. Answer to determine the direction in Fig.320. Imagine placing the fingers of your right hand around a line perpendicular to the plane of and the line on which is shown such that your fingers sweep into. Your outstretched thumb then be A, C, B, A, B, A, C, B, A. Figure 3 to 20 vector in the XE plane is the vector or cross product of vectors N. B, A, C, Z 250 degrees 160 degrees Y X A B C equals A B. This is the resulting vector perpendicular to Baba and B. Sweep it into B. Calculation. Here we write 3, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, 4, 3. KJ.